I'm Alex Paulton. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today, I'm at the uh, Geneva Watch Days at the Arnold and Sun Suite with the new managing director, Pascal Bechou. I hope I didn't mess that up too badly. That, that's great. But I'm really glad, Pascal, that you're giving me the time to uh, come and talk to you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Alex. Uh, really happy to uh, to share our brand with your with your community. Well, you know. Arnold & Son has a reputation. It's known for very elegant, expensive, luxury pieces. But from what I'm seeing here, it's, they're more than just you know um, luxury, expensive pieces. They've also got a character to them. They have some interesting aspects. Why don't you tell first tell, tell me a little bit about you coming on board the company? How's it how, how's it like jumping on board a company like Arnold & Son? So I, wa I was already on board since a couple of years. Ah, okay. So I was already heading the the international sales for for the for the brand and. Uh, and in May, I've been offered the, the position of managing director. So, so it's a it's a change, but a, a continuation in the in my journey at Arnold and Son. Very, very, very cool, Pascal. So now, Arnold and Son as a company, right? Mm. There are a lot of Swiss watch companies. Obviously, mm -hmm. there are a lot of companies that really try to show quality and show design and distinction. Mm -hmm. What do you feel is the sauce, the secret sauce that makes Arnold and Son Arnold and Son? Sure. Well, the the first thing is this. This year is a very special year for uh, for Arnold and Son. We celebrate our 260 anniversary. Wow! So we we published a book about John Arnold, who was the who was the founder of the of the of the of the brand back in uh, 1764. And in fact, John Arnold was really a very prominent British watchmaker based in London at that time. Uh, who you know, um, uh, his work has been really to improve the accuracy and reliability of timepieces of his time. At that time, uh, watchmaking was a tool to help uh, uh, navigation, uh, exploration, um, expedition around the, around the world. And in fact, if you were mastering the seas, you were mastering the, the world and the trade. Which was really, of course, a source of. And you of need an accurate watch. You you need it to the to determine your uh, longitude. Your longitude. Yes, that that was really the the primary purpose, and it's been really uh, key in the development of the, of this of this knowledge of this uh, of this tool, and we want to pay tribute to this work with our current collections. Very cool. So now we have some nice pieces here. Why don't we talk about these and you tell me a bit about each of them? Sure. So we have three three pillars in the collection uh, that 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 pays tribute to the work of John Arnold. Our first pillar is uh, the astronomy pillar. That's where we have our moon phase complications. So we are really specialized in, in that. And we are launching at uh, the Geneva Watch Days um, a new version of our perpetual moon. So it's an astronomical moon phase, meaning that it has only a deviation of one day every 122 years, so extremely precise. And we are coming with a new size, 38 uh, millimeter which makes this timepiece beautiful for uh, for um, gents and, uh, and ladies as well. So we are coming with two limited edition. W one in particular with the Aventurine uh, uh, dial is really spectacular. You know, it really represents the, the starry sky where you have then this uh, the, the moon which is even glowing at night. Uh, that has this uh, beautiful backdrop behind with the with the with the with the aventurine. It, it almost looks mother of pearl. The moon. Yeah, the, the moon is made of uh, mother of pearl. Oh, it is made of mother of pearl. That has been painted underneath to give a realistic view of the moon. So the so the moon comes through the mother and of pearl. That's correct. Oh. That's correct. Um, that is lovely. So that's that's a beautiful piece. You have some constellations that are hand painted also around the moon, and in fact we have chosen two very special constellations: uh, Cassiopeia, uh, recognizable with the W uh, shape, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Uh, and those two constellations were used by navigators all the time. To because in between you had one star glowing very strongly, which was Polaris, and it was giving the true north for. Uh, for for navigators, mm -hmm. so it has also a meaning behind this uh, design feature on the on the piece. Very cool. Well, the constellations have helped everyone of navigate. Course. <laughs> of course, of course, and you needed them to determine then your latitude. Exactly. Uh, um, so these are nice pieces as well. I see they have power reserve, and I understand these are quick release interchangeable bracelets. Yes. So correct. it comes on the metal, and it comes with the extra. 
straps inside. Uh, correct. So that's that's a, a totally new release of the year. It's a, a new collection that is called Longitude. Uh, because in fact uh, that's a timepiece that takes its DNA from the early um, uh, marine chronometers from John Arnold. So uh, we wanted to have a modern uh, sporty uh, look to the piece, so it's fully made of titanium, it's uh, uh, water resistant to uh, 100 meters and we developed a new, mo a new movement, uh, automatic uh, 60 hours power reserve with the beautiful 22 carat oscillating weight and on the dial side uh, you recognize in fact uh, the, the the dials of the first marine chronometers from uh, from uh, from John Arnold. So he was the one who invented, you know, the fact of having the power reserve at 12 o'clock like that. Um, the, the the second that is uh, on uh, an, in a, in, a, in a separate counter yeah, mm -hmm. at uh, at six o'clock and the hour and minute because before before that time. Um, all those information were displayed on different dials. Right, like a and regulator. He, yeah, mm -hmm. and he's the one really who brought all this together because the point was to mini miniaturize the marine chronometers, uh, make it more reliable, accurate, and easy easy to move from uh, from one ship to another, and uh, and easy to replicate also because uh, you know uh, back to those days uh, doing one. Uh, gigantic marine chronometer could take one or two years with his work he was able to replicate uh, and make you know several dozens of uh, those marine chronometers every year with very nice so now um, was there anything else you wanted to tell us about these uh, before I let you go sir I mean that's uh, um, uh, that's really uh, stunning timepieces we have even more in the collection in the core collection that pays tribute also to uh, to this uh, this work of John Arnold so I really invite you also to uh, to meet uh, uh, to, to see our collection at our, our authorized uh, dealer or, or no. check it out on the website or on our website of course as well but always always better to have the timepiece in your hand yeah you, you really see the craftsmanship I always say that to all of my audience that you got to hold it in your hand at least or at least see it in physical before Correct. you make a decision. Correct. Correct. Excellent. Th thank you very much, Alex. Thank you, Pascal. I really appreciate you giving me the time at this show. My, my pleasure and uh, enjoy your time here in Geneva. Thank you.